Hired a PI to watch my fiancé on her girl's trip and now I'm torn. Hey everyone, long time lurker, first time poster here. I never thought I'd be the one to spill my story on a confession subreddit, but here we are. To cut a long story short, my fiancé and I have been together for five years. Every year, she goes on this girl's only trip with her close friends. Something in my gut had been bothering me about these trips. Maybe it was the slight changes in her behavior afterward or the cryptic conversations I'd overhear. Instead of directly confronting her, I did something I'm deeply ashamed of. I hired a private investigator to watch her during her recent trip. I got back the results a few days ago, and as much as I regret violating her privacy, my suspicions were not unfounded. The PI presented evidence of her being unfaithful. It shattered my heart. Now, I'm caught in this storm of emotions. On one hand, I deeply regret snooping and not trusting her enough to talk about it. On the other, the betrayal from her side feels even more significant. I love her, but I can't see a future together anymore. How do I even approach this situation? Do I confess my snoopen? Or just end things without revealing the reason? Any advice is welcome. First update. Hey everyone, I've received many messages asking about the situation and I thought it was only right to keep those who cared in the loop. When my fiancé returned from her trip, I tried my best to handle things maturely. I gave her a chance to be honest, asking if there was anything she wanted to share about her trip. Instead of coming clean, she gaslit me, making me question my own perceptions and reality. Having the evidence I had, I confronted her about the affair. She was taken aback and immediately asked how I knew. I told her the truth, that I hired a PI. I didn't want to falsely accuse any of her friends as some of you suggested, even though, honestly, part of me was tempted. She was furious. I've never seen her that angry in all our years together. Additionally, feeling it was the right thing to do, I shared the evidence with one of her friend's boyfriends so he could be informed and consider getting tested, if necessary. It was clear to both of us that our relationship had reached a breaking point. We broke up right then. Despite it being my house that I financially covered for us, I left and checked into a hotel, giving her space and asking her to pack her things and move out. We didn't communicate for a few days. When she finally reached out, she expressed a desire to talk and perhaps find a way to mend things. But the trust was broken, and I couldn't see a future for us. I told her no. And now, the part one didn't see coming, she's considering pursuing palimony payments. For those unaware, palimony is financial support provided to a partner in a non-marital relationship after separation. I've been informed that due to the relationship laws in our state, this could very well be a real concern. I've initiated the process of hiring a lawyer. During our relationship, I took on the majority of the financial responsibilities, including the mortgage. We had an unspoken understanding, my money is our money, her money is her money, due to our significant income differential. I never thought that my generosity would come back to haunt me. There it is, the update many of you asked for. I wish I had a happier conclusion to this chapter, but life has its twists and turns. It seems she might have the upper hand in this final act, but I'm hoping for a fair resolution. Thank you for the support and advice, it has really meant a lot.